Hello and welcome to the movie and Scorp Intuition. This reading is going to be for Libra for the week of April 8th through the 14th. Also, the readings for uh, next week, since I didn't get to this week's reading, it's already Friday. No sense in, you know, backtracking this week is basically over. I'm just starting with you guys' weeklies for next week. So we are ahead of the curve. And I will do a general weekend love reading as well, guys, because I will be starting my dailies. Um starting my dailies going forward as well. All right, guys, if you would like a reading, please reach out to Venusian Scorp Intuition at gmail.com. My email is in the description box below. I am running a special this week. I do have readings as low as $15. So reach out if you would like more information, okay? So this is going to be for my lovely Libras. As we are going in order of most views from last week. So Libra, you guys showed out, I think, with 12,000 views, if I'm not mistaken. Close second to uh, my Cappy. So Cappy, you will be second if you're looking at this. All right, Libra. As you guys know, that's my son, sign. I was born on the cusp of uh, Libra and Scorpio, but you know, I still represent. Okay. So let's see what is going on for us Libras this uh, coming week. Or this week, depending on when you're looking at this. All righty, guys. Let's get to it. Holy Spirit and Archangels, please give us clear, concise messages for my lovely Libras for the week of April 8th through April 14th. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for Libra for this week? Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for Libra for this week of the 8th through the 14th of April? Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for Libra for this week? April 8th through the 14th. I actually dropped that card. It didn't fall out. So we put it back. And that came out. And it's flipped over so I can't. <laughs> Your card wanted to come out so bad, Libra. I seen that earlier when I was shuffling. The Knight of Swords. Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Which you could be dealing with, but it can definitely be you. Holy Spirit of Art Angels, what messages do you have for Libra? Clear, concise messages, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I feel like my energy is a little scattered right now, just tuning into you guys' energy. Okay. Like, I'm confused. Like, I feel a little bit of confusion. So, some of you guys could be confused this week. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This could be for last week, this week, next week. Energy is fluid. Whenever you look at this, it might resonate. It can resonate today. It just depends. Okay, guys? So, let's see. Okay. So, I feel like you are the forefront of this week, Libra. With the Knight of Swords. Um, I feel like a fiery energy, okay? Um, so you could be really motivated this week. You could put the focus on you and what you have to do this week. And putting maybe love on the back burner or other things on the back burner, okay? I just feel that message. So I'm going to clarify the Knight of Swords. Holy Spirit of Archangels, can you please clarify the Knight of Swords for this week? Okay, we have the sun card that came out. Like I said, it feels like you're focused on you and your happiness. Um, a fiery energy. You can't get any more fiery than the sun, okay? And then I saw that back there. But I didn't feel it as bad tower energy or anything like that. I just feel like you're a, a running flame this week. You go, 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 okay? All righty. So we do have the king of pentacles. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn male. Or this could be energy if it's vice versa. Take the energy how it fits for you, okay? If it doesn't resonate, don't try to make it fit. Alrighty. So there could be some type of king of pentacles, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, bringing some type of truth. Let's see what this truth might be. This could be some type of truth that he could have been in his head about with the four of swords here. So let's see what this truth could be, Libra. Oh, 
Okay, this is something that could have been uh, binding this person. Or if this is your energy, something that could have been binding you, making you feel like your hands are tied. You really didn't have a say in the situation. Um, but I feel like this King of Pentacles or this Pentacle energy, uh, Earth energy person is bringing you some type of clarity to where you don't feel like this or they're bringing honesty so they they don't feel like this okay because this could have been weighing on them heavy we have the four of swords here someone that is in their head maybe at night thinking about how they're gonna how they're gonna formulate this okay and let's see what is this that is being formulated okay there could be a um uh an earth sign that wants something more solidified with you libra okay and they could have been thinking of this in their head they could have been trying to fight it that's why they might be feeling bound by it but i feel like they've been thinking and mulling it over in their head about some type of commitment okay or some type of leveling up of the relationship okay or if they're bringing truth to you about it because you have been worried about um, where this is going to go. So you receive some type of truth from this um, uh, earth sign this week, okay? And as I was shuffling, I put, see, they could have been moving really, really fast. Um, they could have been kind of immature. The page of pentacles is like a child energy, okay? But since we're doing a love reading, we're not going into life aspects. This is just love. So they could have been really moving really slow towards this partnership, okay? They could have been confused. They could have had other goddamn options. I mean, this is the page of pentacles that's going through the mountains, the forest, the trees, the valleys. Let's take a look at this mountaintop. Let's take pictures. Let's get selfies. Let's zip line. Before I go to this goddamn partnership. I'm getting there to you. But I got to go through all this bullshit. To see if I want it to slowly move towards this partnership. Because I don't know what I want. I'm confused. Okay. So they're in their head. Like okay. Um, this partnership. They might feel the pressure. But I feel like you're feeling good. Okay. You're feeling good. You're motivated. You're up on your business. You know. You're not even worried about this. But they are. Um, it could be that you are gaining more independence in your mind you can have children with this person in your mind it could be over okay even if you guys are around each other and not even over like you could have made your judgment like you know what i'm gonna let this go for now i'm going with the flow i'm you're not really emotionally that attached to it because maybe you have other shit going on okay but there you being a detached because you know how libras are we could be really you know partnerish but i feel like it's a um more of a pullback feeling for you this week, Libra. Um, and you're, you're not even negative about it. You're just like, okay, I got a lot of shit going on. I really don't have time to focus or think about this relationship. So it could be triggering your person to be like, you know, what's Libra doing? Why they don't care? So they're laying there at night, you know, mulling it over in their head. Like Libra's not acting usual, you know what I mean? And I don't think it's anything that's out of malice or anything. I think you may just be genuinely busy or just genuinely going with the flow like you're tired of pushing this so you just going with the flow you know letting things let the chips fall where they may that's what i'm hearing spirit telling me um like i said in your head you could emotionally pull it away it was like i got other things to really have to focus on all right and then this that fell out as well when i was shuffling but it fell out by itself those three cards fell out by themselves these three and then this person up in their head and moving slowly away from the illusions though they're coming they're moving slowly away from those illusions or they could have slowly moved away from the illusions. Now they're focused on the partnership and energy between you guys, okay? So that could be past energy of them taking their slow-ass time. Now they're here and things could be coming together, okay? See, um, like this person has went from the page. I just feel like spirit, when, they were, when I was looking at this, this page person could have changed to this knight of cups. He's ready to go into the battlefield of love, okay, for their happiness. You know what I mean? They're probably tired of the facade. Now they want to be like, you know what, Libra, I'm going to offer you this. I'm no longer confused. Because we also have the Eight of Cups here, okay? And I'm going to clarify the Eight of Cups, which is usually wish fulfillment. See? Uh, Queen of Cups uh, and Knight of Cups are Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So, Libra, uh, maybe a water sign is your wish fulfillment. Or maybe you are the wish fulfillment of a water sign. You can make them really happy. Um, or it could be, you see, like, it's the Ten of Cups here and the Nine of Cups. Like, this is funny because I feel like the, your person could be the Knight of Cups. They got the Ten of Cups behind them. 
they finally realize that you may be their happiness. And now you have always been reciproc- reciprocating, couldn't get it out, reciprocating the energy, but it's not as high as theirs. Look, like now, this is how I feel like your energy is this week. You're calm, you're cool, you're collected. Nine of Cups, things are all well, you know, my life is going good, I'm not worried about about much. So you're at a Nine of Cups, like, you know, I'm just chilling. You're not like Ten of Cups, like, oh my God, I want this so much, you know, still, you're still in it, but you're not even excited as this person anymore. It's like the energy switched, okay? So we do have the Devil card, so some of you guys could be dealing with the Capricorn, and that's here near the Blockages card. Um, for some of you guys, it could be a Capricorn trying to interfere in this relationship. It could be a third party, okay? Devil energy. Um, it could be addictions, tox to toxins, toxins, okay? Who knows? Uh, toxic energy. So let's clarify this devil card. It could also be a strong connection, a strong feeling of addiction to this person, maybe to the point of codependency, or it could be this person showing these aspects towards you. Or this could be, I feel like this is a separate energy, but we'll see, Okay. So let's see what the devil card is for you, Libra. Mm -hmm, see, it's like all this stuff up here was cool. And then like this stuff is like underlying. Um, so this person could feel it's someone. I don't feel like it's either one of you, your energy, but it could be. Let me see. But it could be if addictions and toxic situations are um blocking and burdening see seven of pentacles somebody waiting i feel like this could be a third party they're feeling blocked i mean because nine of look at that blocked blocked on both side of the sides of this and then the seven of pentacles like somebody's waiting maybe somebody's waiting to be unblocked that's what i'm hearing or somebody's blocking someone because they are they are toxic like somebody could be thought blocking at a third party and offering to you that that part person could, could this energy could have been one of these cups that this person walked away from when I was describing in the beginning of the reading and they could have this person block block. You see that they're blocking out that toxic. No, we don't want to see it. Like these people are barricading the goddamn doors. Okay. And this person could be waiting like they got me locked, but I'm gonna wait. <laughs> That's uh. Let's clarify the seven of pentacles. I don't know where this energy just came from. See, yeah, could be a Gemini as well. Could be someone that um, one of you guys were having sexual relationship ship with, an ex, a Gemini. I just feel like this is a third uh, party energy. Does not have to be, guys. See, justice here. The scales being balanced out. I feel like if this was your person dealing with this person, that they have, you know, weighed that out and see that, nah, not quite. I think I'm going to go for Libra, okay? And they block this person out. But this person could be trying to contact them, continuing to, you know, um, push themselves onto this person. I just feel like that was a separate energy, okay, Libra? All righty. So that's was intense okay but i feel like you're cool you're laid back this week i mean you're not really dwelling on it like you could have been dwelling on partnership um your person seems a little nervous because you're a little more aloof than usual and they could be trying to cut off loose ends like you know what libra already seem like they halfway out the door or you know they act like they don't really care like you're nonchalant this week and i don't feel like that's usually you for the libras that i'm talking to and this person is like sending up alerts for them and they're like, okay, let me put some stuff on the back burner and I need to focus on Libra because I don't know what Libra's thinking or got going on, okay? They don't know what you're thinking. I think you're playing it cool. I think you're laying back watching them. This person could have just recently came back in. So I feel like the Libra's for the person that just recently came back in, you're watching. You know, you cool. You talking to them. They could be spending the night again, you know, if you guys went on a break. But you watch them. You you lay back. You lay back. You're not all head over heels and shit. You you like, okay, you do this. You come in and out. What you doing? You saying you genuine. But um, we're going to see. Okay? I'm not going for the words. All right. So let's pull the romance and the local cards for you, Libra. Holy Spirit. Okay. Holy Spirit and Archangels, what messages do you have for Libra? Oh, God, I hate it when it does that. What messages do you have for Libra this week? 
in regards to their love lives. Holy Spirit and Archangels, what messages do you have for Libra this week? <laughs> I told you. As it comes to their love life, Holy Spirit and Archangels, what messages do you have for Libra this week when it comes to their love life? Okay. So, we have... I told you, it was somebody's energy. I don't know. I didn't feel like it was your energy, okay? Somebody's kind of losing it because codependency. Somebody feels a pull away or something, so they could be extra clingy to you. This is what I was, like, trying to say during the reading. Like, you're nonchalant, and this person is coming towards you. The night, the cups, all lovey-dovey. And it's like a codependent energy because you could be focused on your business, your work, whatever you have going on. And it's a little codependency going on. But I don't feel like it's your energy. For some of you guys, it could be. Uh, keep an open mind. Your soul may be different from your usual type of expectations. Expectation, expectations. Expectations, and you deserve love. So, I feel like I'm in the flirt card, okay? Extend your light, how the energy to others. So, I feel like... I just feel like a very... I don't know why I hear the word dedicated. Like... I don't know if you're working on a project or you're trying to reach a goal at work or you have something going on that you really focus on this week. So you're sending your person into like codependency, survival mode. They might think that maybe you're talking to somebody else or because I, I feel like you're usually not, you never really put this person on the back burn, but you are kind of. And I don't feel like it's in a hurtful way like, oh, I need time to do, you know what I'm saying? I genuinely feel like you're busy. So... I feel like this is their energy, codependency, needing to keep an open mind, and that they deserve love, okay? Their, your energy, I feel like, is to flirt, and you deserve love, because I feel like you could be kind of blocking love out, but I don't feel like it's in a malicious way. I just feel like you're trying to take care of shit, and you don't have time for codependency this week, laying up with nobody, calling nobody a million times because you're trying to get shit moving. Okay, Libra? So, your person could be a little codependent, a little clingy this week. And like I said, even though I don't feel like it's you, maybe some of you Libras, you, you're going through this, okay? So that is our weekly reading, Libra, for the week of April 8th through the, the I'm going to say the 24th. What's wrong with me? April 8th through the 14th, okay, guys? If you would like a reading and check out my specials I got going this week, leave me an email at venusianscorpintuition at gmail.com. Have a great day. Bye-bye, loves.